If you encounter such a problem as absence of sound after updating your operating system to Windows 10, there are several solutions to deal with this problem. Before you use these methods, try starting automatic sound troubleshooting. To do it, right-click on the speaker symbol in the system tray and select Troubleshoot Sound Problems. The system will start searching for problems. Choose the device that stopped working and after the diagnostics you will see the description of the problem and if it was possible to fix it. If this method didn't help you, try another one. If you have just updated the operating system and the sound was gone at once, open Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start button and selecting it from the list. In the window that opens, find Audio Inputs and Outputs and open it. If there are no warning signs like an exclamatory mark, select your sound device, right-click on it and open Properties. In the Driver tab, click on Roll Back Driver. This will set drivers back to the previous condition, and if the sound was gone after a driver update, now it should be back again. The most widespread sound issue is when the speaker icon in the system tray is shown as normal. The device manager for the sound card says this device is working properly, and the driver needs no updates. In most cases, the sound card is shown as a high-definition audio device, and this is a true sign that it's missing proper drivers. Often, this problem affects such sound chips as Connexon Smart Audio HD, Realtek Audio, via HD Audio. In this case, to fix the problem, you should get to know the version of the operating system and the model of your computer or motherboard. You can watch one of our videos to see how to learn all the information about your computer. Find the link in the description. To do it, open the Run window with the key shortcut Windows plus R and enter msinfo32. In this window, you will see the operating system version and business, as well as your computer model. After that, search the Internet for your computer model name or motherboard name. In the Support section of the manufacturer's website, find drivers for this model, select the audio drivers and download them. If you are using Windows 10 and there are drivers for Windows 8 and 7 only, don't worry. The most important thing is to download drivers with the same bitness as your system has. Download the required driver, open the downloaded file and start the installation. When it's over, restart the computer. Then open the device manager again and check it for changes in the corresponding sections. This method will also work if you see an exclamatory mark next to one of the devices. It means the device has not been recognized and doesn't work properly. Try uninstalling it by right-clicking on it and then scan the system for hardware changes. If the warning symbol is still present, you will have to download the driver and install it on your own. You can also try updating the device drivers from the menu by right-clicking on the device and selecting Update driver software. If there is still no sound, Right-click on the speaker icon, select Sounds, and make sure the device is enabled. If you don't see your sound device in the Playback tab, check the boxes next to Show Disabled Devices and Show Disconnected Devices and check the list again. In the tab Communications, make sure that all sounds are not muted and go to the tab Sounds to check the sound theme and make sure you haven't selected the one called No Sounds. After all these steps, the sound should reappear. If sound becomes quieter, for example when you make a Skype call, it's because of the settings. To fix this issue, select Do Nothing in the Communications tab. 
In our channel, there is a video about fixing problems with a microphone, and it may also be useful. Another cause to make sound disappear is audio service issues, or this service can just be disabled. It often happens in unofficial builds optimized for maximum performance, and if you downloaded and installed such a build, it's the first thing to be checked. In Windows, there is a special service Windows Audio. To see its status, open this list of services. To do it, use the search function or perform the command services.msc. On the list, find Windows Audio and check its status and startup type. By default, its status should be running and startup type automatic. If they are different, open them and set the default values. And of course, you should restart the computer after that. To start installation of Windows from a bootable USB drive, you should change the BIOS settings, and many users may also change other settings accidentally. So, if you did change the BIOS settings, make sure you haven't disabled sound devices by mistake. You need to find Advanced section and look for an icon with a name like HD Audio, and then change its setting to Enabled if it's different. If you haven't found anything like that, you can try resetting BIOS. To do it, take out the battery from the motherboard for a few minutes and then place it back. 